Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and I'm back with yet another hair tutorial. In today's video we will be doing a fall hair color on a new color client. Um, a little bit of background, she came in about two, three weeks ago to do a color consultation. So in the beginning I just want to show you guys everything I'm using and you guys already know I'm going to show everything down below. What I'm doing is going in with my scale and I'm also going in with 7.4C. She does have virgin hair, so I'm going to be using 30 volume on the mid shaft to the ends. Then I'm going to be mixing a different formula for her roots, which I will show you guys towards the end. And of course, adding tons of Olaplex. And if you guys want to see how I do this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being patient because I have been book solid for like the last two months to the point where I haven't been able to edit videos. So I do apologize, but I'm very appreciative for my clients and my subscribers for just sticking in there and just rocking out with me. So here you have me putting in the 7.4C and then I'm just adding the 30 volume for the ends because we are going to be putting foils on her hair because she is virgin hair. A little bit about my client. She is coming from New York City to get her hair colored. So big shout out to you and thank you so much for trusting me to do your first hair color ever i felt so honored the fact that she wanted to travel to get her hair done also she trusted me with her hair so i always take into consideration like you could have chose anybody else and you chose me so thank you again and she was such a sweet and pleasant client um she came in about 4 30 in the evening and i was done around like 8 45 9 o'clock and of course i had to clean up but in the beginning of this video, I'm just mixing my formula and I will write the formula down in the description also because I know this is going kind of fast, but I'm just using my scale. I put in 7.4C, I mix that with 30 volume plus a little bit of Olaplex and now I'm just getting ready to prep her. So I'm putting on the Framar backwards bibs on her and then I'm just going to go in with my Framar summer camp foils, which are limited edition. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. I know that they have the summer camp kit, but I'm not sure if they have the end of it, the individual pop up foils. Um, I do apologize if I'm slurring my words and I'm talking kind of fast, but it's literally eight something at night and I'm trying to get this done because I feel like if I don't do this today, I'm literally booked out the next three days for um, the next three days for color clients. And if I don't get this out tonight, guys, I will not be able to edit this until probably Monday or Tuesday next week. And I did this last week, so I'm trying to get this out as I'm doing it. So for fall, everybody wants to change their hair color. So she opted to do a copper color. She sent me about three or four pictures that she wanted and then what i do is i have all my color um all my colors oh my goodness i have all of my clients come in for a color consultation prior to getting color service you do have to come in at least 48 hours to 72 hours prior so that way i can do a patch test and a strand test make sure that she's not allergic to any products and she actually gave me a couple of fun facts our boyfriend is allergic to a lot of natural hair products so she can't use anything with turmeric and i believe um Oh my god i can't remember but she can't use like certain products because her boyfriend is actually allergic and when she sleeps on the pillow he breaks out so i had to make sure that i did a thorough um consultation then when she showed me a couple pictures she liked she just basically said hey i don't want anything too bright i don't want anything too dark i want to be able to tell that i have color but i don't want it to look too outrageous so she let me basically have free range and we went from there during the color consultation um it is a hundred dollars but that goes towards the color service and then also i add on any additional services i let clients know pricing during that consultation and then i also let them know the whole step so i let her know like this is what i'm going to do worst case scenario versus best case scenario the timing and whatever time i think it'll take i always add three hours because you never know if the client's going to be running late which my clients never do but you also never know if the hair is going to be resistant because she does have virgin hair we don't know how it's going to color and i had the honor of doing her first hair color ever so shout out to you girl i was super super honored that you chose me and i posted this on instagram it's already doing numbers already so i'm just going to go in and show you guys what i'm doing i'm applying that mixture that i made in the beginning and i'm just putting that in between foils i'm not doing super thin sections like newspaper thin sections because i know that i'm not going in and doing a platinum card i just want to insulate her hair with the foils to make sure that her hair lifts because she has virgin hair and she did not want to do lightener so when you have a client that doesn't want to do lightener, I just went in with the 30 volume with the foils. It should make it about 40. And then also with the Olaplex, that should help even that out and make sure that her hair is nice and healthy. I also do an Olaplex treatment. And the application altogether took me about an hour and 10 minutes. And then I let her hair sit for an additional 20 minutes. So the process took a little bit longer just because I was waiting for her hair to change. And of course, I always make sure to check the very first section that I apply just to make sure that everything is changing nice and evenly and that she's not over processing. And because she does have virgin hair, you just want to make sure that you do the roots last. 
So I always start from the mid shaft to the ends with one formula, and then the root formula is something different. So normally I'll go down a volume or two. So for instance, I did 30 volume with 7.4 C on her mid shaft to ends with the foils, which will technically make it a 40 because it makes it hot. But then on her roots, I did a 7.4 C mixed with 680 to bring the hair color down a little bit to give her kind of like a semi shadow root. And then I mix that with a 20 volume at Olaplex because the heat from her scalp is going to make it process even faster and turn it into a 30. OK, so it's basically nice and even, but her scalp will be a little bit darker because I put that on last. And then I rinsed accordingly, okay? I know this is a lot of information, but I'm just trying to make sure that I get this all out. And then I'm just going to show you guys how I apply this, and I will be back in a section. I mean, in a section. Oh, my goodness. I will be back <laughs> in a second. I like to do four quad uh, quadrant parts. So I part the hair in four sections like you do in hair school. I like to start with the back right, back left then top left and then top right you can switch this up however you prefer but i just like working with the back also because if you're a new hairstylist and let's just say you mess up the back you can kind of fix it when you get to the front so um let's say for instance you lifted the back a little bit too high but because the back was on longer and the front's not on as long you have a little bit of time to adjust that and you could bring the hair color down in the back and then just correct anything that you need to in the front. So this is just something I suggest for anybody that's new and starting out and not really comfortable with color. Just work in the back first, take your time, make sure that you're taking adequate sections. Um, these sections are semi, I'll say medium, but again, I made sure to thoroughly saturate the hair with tons of product. And you'll see me here just applying this color. Overall, again, the application took me about an hour and 10 minutes, and then I let it set for another 30 to 45 minutes, and I kind of just watched it. I just let her sit and process, no heat, no nothing, and then I'll just hit her roots last. So I'm gonna let this play through, and I'll be back at that part. I'm sorry if I'm talking super fast, I'm tired. I literally came in today to do a um, an emergency client, and she paid me almost $500 to do her hair. So I worked, I dropped the kids off to school, I picked the kids up, Came home, cooked dinner, cleaned the house. My husband came home. And now I'm just now getting to the editing and doing the voiceover. So thank you guys for bearing with me. And I will be back in just a moment. Before I forget, make sure that if you have not already, you check your girl out on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. And also I will link that in the description box as well. And also make sure you check out my Amazon store because I do link everything that I use in the video that you guys can get your hands on. And for my licensed hairstylist, I will link everything down below that you guys can use. But for most of these websites, you do have to be licensed. And I do try to use licensed professional high-end products because that just makes the service a little bit more unique to you and also you can charge more when you use better products okay so i'm not using products that you can't use to be mean or to um, exclude anyone i'm just using them because because i am licensed i have access to exclusive products and i can charge more money and top dollar onto the service okay so it makes sense but um i will drop everything in the description box down below that i use and if you guys have questions you already know you can dm me and drop comments down below and i hope you guys really enjoy this hair color transformation i actually did a hair, hair color transformation like this about two years ago to this day and i will link that down below but around the fall time i have a lot of coppers a lot of deep oranges a lot of reds a lot of maroons and um i honestly want to do some eggplants i want somebody to come in and want a deep purple with some red undertone so if nobody books that within the next two weeks i'm going to just be doing a mannequin and i will be dropping that down below I'm excited to announce that I have some online classes coming, also with exclusive content. If you guys wanna see real life of me doing these videos, this video in total was about two hours and 30 minutes. So the fact that I got it down to a little under 26 minutes is major for me because I didn't wanna skip out too much in the styling and everything. But this client also, a little bit of background, she did cut her hair during quarantine. So she had a little bit of unevenness. So I had to go in and correct her cut had to color her hair, I silk pressed her, gave her oil effect treatment. So this did take a little bit of time. So you just wanna make sure when you have color clients, you are booking accordingly. Typically when I do color clients, I only book one or two max per day. Um, two, if I know exactly who the clients are and I'm touching them up. One, if it's a first time client, I'm not sure what's going on because I don't wanna rush and you know basically have to 
try to get through a color client and have somebody come in on the back end of them or before them. So I like to just generally come in and do one color client per day and I charge accordingly. My consultations are $100. That goes towards the coloring service. I book that for my clients. But hair color typically for me starts off at $400. I know that sounds like a lot, but you're getting color, you're getting experience, you're getting Olaplex treatments, you're getting um, deep conditions, everything that you need to make sure that your hair is healthy. So um, if you don't wanna pay that, that's completely understandable, but I have a clientele that caters to people. Um, I have my specific clientele, let me say, and they are really um, about hair care and healthy hair. But you can also get this done by anybody, but just to keep in mind, you get what you pay for. And when it comes to hair color, especially if you're new, you don't want to go somewhere that's going to color your hair with BW2 or not use Olaplex or not use any type of bond builder, where that, um, whether that's Brazilian bond builder or not. You want to make sure whoever's caring for your hair is taking the best care of your hair possible. And you want to make sure that your color is going to last, your hair is going to be healthy. And if you're natural, especially, you want to make sure that your curl pattern is not going to be altered, okay? So I know that's a lot of information. I really am going to get ready to dip off just for a second because I know I've been talking for the last 11 minutes, but I wanted to just reiterate, this process did take time, guys, okay? So just do what you're comfortable with. And if I was doing a blonde client, I would make these sections, I would probably do four times as many foils. But because I knew I was doing copper and I just want to insulate the hair color, I just did wider foils and bigger foils just because I knew I wanted to cover as much um, area as possible and thoroughly saturate the hair and just get a nice lift, okay? So if you guys have questions, drop them down below. And I can't wait till you guys see the end result.
Okay, so as I got closer to the top of her head, I did do a little bit smaller section just to make sure everything was thoroughly saturated and she'll get that lift that I want. And then I just proceeded to fold her foils up and let her sit for about, again, 45 minutes to 30 minutes and I eyeballed it, um, give or take. Um, her natural hair level is a level four, so she wasn't as dark as most of my clients are. Normally they start off at a level two and it takes a lot longer to lift. Because she was a four, I feel like with the 30 and 20 volume, it will give me the copper that I want without going too bright or too dark. It will definitely let her know that she has color in her hair without doing the most. So now I'm just mixing her root formula. I have my Olaplex and I have my 20 volume. And I'm just gonna go in with 6.80 by Igora. And then I'm also going to do equal parts. I'm going to do equal parts of 6.80 by Igora. So right here I have 35 grams. I believe that's what it is. And I'm just going in with the rest of this tube with 7.4C. And you'll see what it adds up to in just a second. I can't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, we have 61 grams of that, I believe. And then I'm just going in with my 20 volume, putting that in. And then I will also add my Olaplex and then continue to mix. If you guys need to, just pause the video. You can see the exact measurements if you need to. You guys know I don't really use measuring cups. I like to eyeball my color. I know that's horrible. But I went to a really, really not professional hair school. So I learned how to do hair color like in the most hood method. But because I've been doing that for so long, I'm comfortable mixing my formulas. But I definitely recommend if you're new to mix your ratios correctly. One part to two parts or one part to three parts. And just do what's comfortable for you. So now I'm just literally going in between her foils and applying that root formula with the 20 volume with the Olaplex and I'm applying that all over. And how I did this was I started at the back right section, then I did the back left, the front left, and then the front right. So just like how I applied the foils, I just kind of did the same thing with the root formula and just started where I started with the first application. So I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to rinse her off off camera because this was such a long video. And this is how it looks. It looks really dark on the ends in some parts. But that's just because my lighting and my suite is really dark. So just trust the process, guys. Sometimes when you do color, if the hair is still damp, it will look super dark. And a lot of times you will panic at the bowl. Literally at the bowl, her hair looks so dark, it almost looked like it was black. But I knew, because I do this all the time, hey, don't panic, her hair is wet. So as soon as I brought her back to the chair, this is how it looked. It has a little bit of dimension. She has a little mini root shadow and in different lights, it'll look different. But I'm just gonna go ahead and press her with my custom irons. I also link those in my bio. Make sure that you check out my website and you also use the YouTube discount code that I add below, which is YTCast10 to get an additional 10% off your order. So I did just press her out. And then after I'm done pressing her completely straight, I'm just gonna put in her part where she prefers. Then I'm gonna correct her cut and then add a few feather curls and then just judge her hair and show you guys the end result. If you made it this far, say hey. <laughs> and thank you guys so much again for bearing with me. It takes me forever to edit these videos. I'm all muscle. I do the video recording, the editing, the voiceovers, the everything, the color. I'm literally doing four different things in one. So just keep in mind that I'm literally a one woman show and I do everything myself. So I'm just going in and correcting the cut that she did during quarantine it wasn't too bad it kind of grew out a little bit but i just wanted to correct everything and because she had a lot of layers i wanted to go in pull her hair out at a 90 degree after i created her shape and just correct some of those layers so that way she has a nice a nice amount of body and movement so i'm going to finish styling that i'm getting ready to get ready to go to sleep because i'm so tired and i'm so sorry that i'm struggling through this voiceover but i have to get this done okay so Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for bearing with me. If you follow me on Instagram, if you show me love, you comment and email me. I really appreciate you guys so much. And this is so surreal to me. I just can't believe I'm still an influencer. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm going to dip off early. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I will tag every product that I use that you guys can get your hands on in my Amazon store. And I will also link them in the description box below. But if for some reason you have a hard time finding something, please just shoot me a DM. I'm really cool. I'm not one of those influencers that doesn't respond to people. I typically respond to my DMs at the end of the day, but I get anywhere from 80 to 100 DMs a day. Okay, so just bear with me, but I will get to every one of you guys. So I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive evening. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
I really hope you guys like this end result. Please make sure to subscribe and I'm gonna tag her selfie that she sent to me um, right after this snippet. And thank you so much, girl, again, for trusting me with your hair. She told me that she got so many compliments and everybody kept stopping her. So that really made my heart feel so full because I really love what I do. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm Audi. Bye.